G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines and a very exciting day up here at Lake Manchester, just west of Brisbane. I'm here with Kerry McDougal, who's the president of Brisbane Valley Anglers. And Kerry, pretty exciting day today, isn't it? What's yeah, going on? It is. We're another fish release here at um, Lake Manchester. It's our third now. It's uh, another lot of bass going in today. Uh, we've all released our Merry River Cod in here, which is uh, hopefully going well. Um, it's approximately 3,000 bass going in today. It'll give us our second... The last lot, I assume, would be, what, around 200 mils yep. by now. Yep. They should be just ready to be caught. So when people are ready to start fishing and carry the canoe in, yep. they'll be able to start catching some. Well, that's the interesting thing. This is It's a very picturesque lake here, and it's only it's less than an hour from my place uh, near central Brisbane. Beautiful lake. Currently, what are the access requirements? The access is it's virtually walk-in. Um, there's a park, car park right down the bottom of the wall. Um, you more or less got to carry your canoe along the... There's a old, old road there, and it's up a steep hill at one end to get to the lake then sort of put your canoe in the lake once you get to the top. It's a bit a bit heavy to carry. Well, you need wheels on them. You just wouldn't carry them that far into there. It's probably roughly a kilometre. Now, tell us about Brisbane Valley Anglers. Brisbane Valley Anglers for years have been very active in the stocking and the fishing scene. So, uh, so tell me, how did the money get raised to put these fish in? Money raised is us doing barbecues, um, bunnings and all that sort of stuff. Um, we do a, a few catering jobs for a few of the other fishing groups that around the area, down um, Clary Hall and that every year. Um, we don't do raffles and all that. And virtually what we do is like barbecues to make money. It's yeah. all we don't get. We're not on the SIPS program or anything like that. So just hard work and raise money ourselves. So ideally you would want this Lake Manchester to be on the SIPS program, wouldn't you? To make it a lot easier to put more fish in. At the moment we can't be. It's a five-year process for the SIPS program it's a, and it's just finished for the last, last year. So we have to make sure this is a... Um, a good fisheries before they'll accept it as a, a SIPS program and ideally better access. So we're out on the water now at Lake Manchester. I've caught up with uh, Brisbane Valley Angler's gun angler, Barry Oxford. Barry is famous for many things, one of which is that he wants to tag 10,000 bass before he kicks the bucket. And Barry, what are you up to? I uh, very. Cl I think about between 9,400 and 9,500, so another 500 to do it. Hopefully it'll last another couple of years to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> now look, the other thing that you do is you're very big on your mapping, and a lot of people that uh, have the social maps of Queensland's South East Lakes can thank Barry for putting all that cartography on the board and Barry you've mapped Lake Manchester before. Yeah uh, well when we did the original survey and stocking uh, the boys that we were allowed to do the mapping we mapped the whole dam between all of the, I think it was four boats at that time did the mapping so yeah. Yep. So what about the you, you've fished a lot of these lakes as well you've caught nearly 10,000 bass put tags in them how would you rate Lake Manchester as a fishing lake like it looks beautiful? Uh, he, yeah, he'd be right up there with Clary Hall and all those good edge bite dams. Yeah, and I just, I just look forward to being able to fish it when the when the fish do get to that size where they're catchable. You betcha. So now the the first fish went in a few years ago. They're probably getting towards legal size. Um, these sixteen thousand fish that we've put in today. Um, how long will it take them to get to legal? I would say two to three years by, before they get to legal. And, but with the food source here, they might be a little bit quicker because the bony brim are, are fairly thick. And you've seen the number of birds on the lake. Um, yeah, it should be pretty quick, I'd reckon, a couple of years. Yeah. You'd be uh, you'd be pretty proud as a BVA member of all the things that BVA's done over the years, but the creation of a fishery out of nothing must sit pretty special in your heart. Oh, it does. Uh, I've been a member of this club for 20 years, and just to see us finally get to stock Lake Manchester, it's been, it's been on our itinerary for, for that, that 20 years, and finally to be able to get to stock it and that, yeah, it's just wonderful. Can't wait to get at it, so, yeah. yeah well, yeah. Barry, we appreciate all the work that you do, both from a mapping sense and from a stocking sense, so uh, it's great to see those fish in the water. Great work to you guys. So I'm here now with Charlie Ladd, who's treasurer of the BVA. And Charlie, you had to uh, sign the cheque to buy these fish. You happy with how it all went today? Very much so. Uh, we got 16,000 uh, bass fingerlings today. Uh, they were good quality. And uh, going by the guys who released them out there today, they all swam away very healthy. So this is our third year of stocking. So we're hoping uh, by next year, uh, people coming down to fish, we'll start catching some either just legal or just under uh, Australian bass. So you betcha. It's a great fishery these guys have created. It's got Mary River Cod in it. Now it's got the Australian bass for several years. Uh, we really appreciate everything you guys do because without these guys, there's nothing in the water for us to catch.